Hello everybody, it's Donna. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It is mid-August here in Ontario, so it's quite warm. Uh, today we're going to be making a baby card, a congratulations card that you can adapt to any sex or even uh, unisex. Uh, it works well with several different colors. We're going to be use, making the balmy blue one that was just shown there. We're also going to be using the little elephant uh, stamp set. We'll also need uh, the layering circles to make the little cutout in the center. You'll also be needing the classic label punch. And the classic label punch, I did not, I forgot to put it in the, the list of supplies you need, but you do need that one as well. Or you can cut it out. We'll also be using an embossing folder, the new button button from the new annual catalog. And there is a list of things that you will need. It's pretty standard stuff. It's not it's not too involved what you do need. You're going to start with a piece of balmy blue, four and a quarter by eleven, two pieces of whisper white, four by five and a quarter. You also need a scrap of blue and a scrap of white. As well you'll need your standard supplies such as snips, uh, some time kind of glue. I am using the fine liner fine line tip glue pen because I had some little tiny details to glue down and rather than bring out a whole bunch of glues I just I'm just using that one. A bone folder, some dimensionals, some glue dots. I'm also using a bow maker. I will link uh, to an Amazon uh, bow link, uh, same bow maker that I'm using right there. You're going to start with the balmy blue, bold and a half, and then the two white pieces. What I'm going to do is I need to cut a circle in the in the white in the blue, as well as one of the white whites. You could technically, I guess, tape them together and do them all at once but I just found that this way worked out well so I cut the circle out of the blue and then I'm going to line up the t two white pieces and I'm going to draw a circle around where I need the second circle to go and that one will be for the front. I'll also need to do it a second time because I need to place the elephant in that circle on the inside even though I'm not going to don't have to die cut it I still need to that placement marked. So there's the second one and I'm just erasing any marks I got on the front because I don't need them. Now I'm going to die cut the circle out of the one and then we will emboss it. You can hold down the circle with a tiny bit of uh, removable tape or washi tape or something like that. I'll also list the, what I use for removable tape underneath. You can also use post-it tape. Just be very, very careful when removing it so you don't uh, rip your paper. And now I'm going to take that piece that we just die cut. We're going to uh, emboss it with the button button embossing folder. I am flipping it over just because I want to I want to make sure I have it right set up but I also want to, this little line at the bottom of the embossing folder that allows me to make sure it's even. And then I'm going to pass it through the machine and there we go. There's what it looks like after it's been done. Now we need to make a little frame for the circle. So I'm using the one of the um, scalloped edge circles from the layering circles, the next size up, and I cut one out. And then with that little scrap, I'm just going to cut one of the labels out since I have it in my hand there, and we'll use that in a bit. Now the tricky part is taking that, that circle, we need to actually make it into a frame. You could actually send these through together through your die cut machine but I just find because they're so close in size that I was damaging my die doing that so I'm actually going to do it just separately I'm just going to line it up nice and neat and even there and use a little tiny bit of uh, tape I am trying to keep the tape to the inside of the circle not the outside just so that if it does stick it doesn't uh, wreck my my circle okay and there we go and there's the little frame that's going to go on top of the circle Now we're going to need take that piece and we're going to need to do our stamping. I'm using the 
big elephant, the little elephant, the congratulations stamp, as well as hello uh, little one at the that we're going to stamp on the inside. I'm just using the one uh, dye color, which is balmy blue, to coordinate with the cardstock that I'm using. And the big elephant is going in the circle. And then the little one's going to go just facing the big elephant um, on the inside. And hello little one is going to go down in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to stamp the congratulations on the little scrap of white. And we'll use the classic label punch to just punch that out. It's easier to stamp it first and then line it up through the punch. And that's all the stamping that we need for this uh, card. Okay, we're going to attach the inside to the inside of the card. As you can tell, the first time I stamped the elephant, I felt that it was just a little bit uneven, so I stamped it a second time which is good, paper has two sides. I'm using the fine liner glued to pen. You can use snail, you could use the Tombow. Uh, the fine liner, the only, I like the fine liner because the fine tip on it, but it does grab the paper a little bit faster than the Tombow does, at least I find, in my humble opinion, it does. Which is great when you're dealing, doing something detailed where you don't want the glue everywhere. Now we're going to do the same thing with the um, embossed piece. I prefer to use glue on the if it's embossed because sometimes the, I want the glue to be right into all the little crevices and really grab strongly to the paper. As long as you work quickly enough, it should be okay. just line it up with the hole and then make sure it's it's even all the way around and as long as I did that at the beginning then it should be okay I just want to make sure that there was no white showing okay so to make the little banner piece you just cut this little banner in half what I'm trying to do is make it look like it's actually bigger than what it really is. So on the back of the congratulations, I'll just put a little dot of glue on each corner and add the two banner pieces. So that way it kind of looks like it's extended all the way across, but it really isn't. Sorry, I took my fingers off screen so I could see a little bit closer, but there's the one side. And then we'll attach the other one to the other end. And for the circle, we're, t we're just putting little dots all the way around the uh, edge of the circle. I don't want too much because I don't want the glue actually squishing out or anything like that. But this is where this little fine, fine 
tip uh, glue pen comes in handy. That does add a little, quite a bit to the card. If you wanted to, you could also add just a window. Add a piece of astate in between the two for a window, which I did consider doing, but I didn't think it was really necessary. Now we're just going to use some dimensionals, the little pieces on the edge that I cut, and we're going to attach it to the bottom of the card, the little label. And that just had a little element that's popped up. Now I'm using my bow maker to make a bow that will attach to the right underneath the circle window. This is the I I do find this because I only have one pair of hands. I do find it this helps even though I'm kind of off screen there, but it does help. It almost gives you a second pair of hands to use it. The instructions that come with the bow maker are really simple and very easy to. Uh, to get your bows. I think this one I'm doing a double a double loop bow just to make it a little bit more full. This ribbon I'm using is no longer available. It is from the celebration uh, in 2019 celebration freebie I guess it was uh, for every I think it was $60 you could pick something and that was one of the items that I chose. And I still have quite a bit of it left so I didn't have anything else in balmy blue or anything else that would match so I used that one. Most of us have a stash really big, and I'm sure we could find something. And I'm just using the glue dots to attach that right to the front of the card. Okay, I'm just going to take my eraser and, and erase the circle from around the elephant, because we no longer need that there. These would be very easy to mass produce these if you want to, uh, well, I don't know if you wanted to sell them or, I mean, I don't know too many people that would have like hundreds of babies being born in their family, but I mean, they're, it's a cute card and very easy to produce and very easy to have a few on hand. So I also did it in the soft sea foam. I uh, sew saffron and petal pink. So I had a boy and a girl and a couple other generic colors. Please subscribe and comment or and share this video. By doing so allows me to get more subscribers and keeps me more active and supports my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.